Hey everybody, so right now it is 7.10, it is March the 1st, so happy March the 1st. So what I am um, about to do is I'm about to finish making sure that I have everything packed and I am about to leave my house because tomorrow I have to go back to New York for another site visit. So this video is going to be the start of another vlog because today I got my Invisalign tray, can y'all see it? So I just started in this line. So like if you look here closely, you can see the attachments. So my main concern for my teeth were this particular tooth. This particular tooth, as you can see, is coming over. So I wanted to straighten that out. So I'm like, you know what, Tar? 2022 is going to be the year that you are focusing on yourself. You are getting to you know, become closer to God, you are making sure that you fix anything that you deem that you want to fix. So yeah, this is the year for that. Okay. So I have everything packed. Let me turn the camera around. I have everything packed. Um, I have my carry on as well as my little bag. A quick tip for me, this little bag here, y'all, it's cute. It's something I can dress up. I can dress down, but it's a great travel bag because it's just a regular bag. Like it's just a regular bag. It's no particular name. So I'm like, okay, it's not bringing, it's not drawing so much attention to me being a female and traveling by myself. So I'm like, it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm able to have my, um, video thing in there, like my little, um, Things so I can watch like my videos on there. I'm able to have like different things inside. So it's like, it's not once again, bringing so much attention to me because like my designer bags, me being a female, you know, I feel like it's going to draw attention in general. But once again, like I said, I just want to be mindful of what I am portraying out to the world, especially going someplace by myself. So I have made it to New York. Once again, I'm sorry if I sound a little slurred. I do have my Invisalign trays in. So here we go for a little room tour. I absolutely love this room. Same hotel, but I just have a corner room this time. So as you can see, the windows go all the way around. And here we have the restroom. Last time I was in this hotel, because I didn't have a corner room, I had, I think, a glass shower, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like I didn't have this shower curtain, but I, I'm not for sure. But then you come around here. Of course, you have the toilet over here, dryer if needed. And you know what? They don't have a scale in here. The last room I was in had a scale. So we come out here. We have the closet area with the safe. I got my clothes hanging up for tomorrow. I love here. Full length mirror for tomorrow. Walkway. Now we're just going to come here. We have the flat screen TV. Chair. Little chair. And then I have the bed here coffee maker and i'm glad in here i have a little area to place my water and then y'all let's look at this traffic uh, can y'all see that look at that traffic like i absolutely could not drive here but i will talk to y'all shortly um you know, like I said in the intro, I am starting off my March traveling vlog for being in research. So tomorrow, I hope I have a room that's kind of like secluded. So that way I can actually show you guys how I um, do everything when I'm on site. But I will talk to y'all shortly.
it's pronounced Dannyville, Virginia. So when you come into the room, to the right, you have fridge, microwave, a sink over here with a mirror. Come in here, I have the restroom with a full length mirror. Of course, the door entrance way. Come in over here, we have the bed, dresser to place my clothes, television, and a little sitting area. And I have a little desk for when I'm about to do some work. I don't have any type of view at all, which is okay. It's okay. Um, I can see over there to like the little um, lounge area, but that's about it. So that is it. I am in Virginia. All right, so we're going to take a little break and I'm going to go back to when I was at home and I want to go over with you all how I prep for my visit. So I'm going to show you um, the actual system that I use and show you exactly what I'm looking at. And then we'll go back to the kind of montage of, you know, the views in my rooms and the city and states that I go to. All right, so right now you'll see me show you my actual system that I use for prepping for my interim monitoring visit. So what I like to do is I like to write down the actual subject's ID number as well as the kit they were dispensed. Then I'll go back into the actual Nest system that we're using to make sure the kit numbers match. So the kit number dispensed as well as the kit number they're supposed to be issued should definitely match. Then I'll go back and I'll check everything off on my paper. So you see here, I checked off Nest. Then I'll go to the image portal, make sure that the screening image was accepted as well as the post injection image was accepted. Once I'm done, I make sure that I check everything off, but it's very important that you make sure they sign off on the consent form prior to looking at any of their information. So that's just a little overview of how I prep to get ready to go to my visits.